LC Sciences Epitope Mapping Service. Understanding antibody specificity at the molecular level provides the key to optimizing their use as research or diagnostic tools. It forms the basis of their application as therapeutic agents. Arrays of protein sequence derived short peptides have emerged as a powerful tool to identify and characterize such binding epitopes. LC Sciences combines the flexibility of customizable parallel synthesis and the high data quality of microfluidic technologies to create high-density peptide microarrays for immunological studies, vaccine development, and biomarker screening applications. Our comprehensive sample-to-data services are based on innovative microfluidic high-throughput microarray platform that affords complete design flexibility and delivers quantitative results while minimizing sample consumption. This is a comprehensive epitope mapping service. Send us your sample. We'll synthesize a custom designed array, carry out the sample binding assays you request, perform data collection and analysis, and deliver a results report to you. Our cost-effective one-stop solution can save you tremendous time and money. Our epitope mapping microarray service is based on our in-house developed microparaflow microarray platform. Microparaflow is the combination of three advanced technologies, a PGA synthesis chemistry, digital optics, and a microfluidic chip. These are integrated to achieve reliable, flexible, custom synthesis of peptide microarrays. The use of a microarray format will increase your workflow to 40 times that of a single microtiter plate. Our, microfluidi our microfluidic chip contains 4,000 features. It is a closed system and has a total volume of 10 microliters. The volume of each reaction chamber is 270 picoliters, and the device has been engineered to produce a uniform flow across all chambers. Microfluid microfluidics are put to use both in the synthesis of the detection probes on the chip and also during the binding assays. During chip synthesis, microfluidics provide us the flexibility to perform on-chip parallel synthesis using conventional chemistry of DNA, RNA, peptides, or their analogs. During binding assays, microfluidics enable recirculation of the sample solution throughout the chip, which provides enhanced binding kinetics, prevents dioxidation, and ultimately produces higher quality data. These are not spotted arrays. A proprietary microfluidic biochip is used, and custom peptide sequences are synthesized on the chip. The microfluidic technology produces a uniform distribution of the sample, ensures efficient sample peptide contact, and enhances binding reactions and stringency wash processes. The microarray chip consists of thousands of three-dimensional chambers and is a closed system. Under these conditions, multiplex protein assays are carried out in a way much like in thousands of picoliter tubes. Enclosure keeps the proteins in a stable environment, in solution, and protected from air, oxidation, or contamination. The miniaturized system provides automation, sample reagent savings, and simplicity in operation. In situ peptide synthesis using PGA synthesis chemistry coupled with conventional TBOC chemistry and a programmable process means high probe quality, tight process control, and complete content flexibility. Our advanced manufacturing process ensures highly uniform spots and high reproducibility from array to array and yet permits total customization of contents on each individual array. In comparison, spotted microarrays tend to suffer from poor spot uniformity and large spot-to-spot -spot and array-to-array -array variations, which lead to large data deviations. Additionally, the spotting process requires significant upfront investment for peptide libraries and spotting equipment, and thus is inflexible for customization. On-chip peptide synthesis means each of our arrays can be unique and designed to meet specific research goals. The peptide sequences may be standard catalog content from LC Sciences Library containing database and or literature validated peptides, or custom content, which is customer defined sequences. We use the most updated information on proteins for peptide microarray design to deliver arrays of comprehensive, systematic, and up-to-date content. Sequence repeats are used on each array to allow statistical analysis of the data. 
Our unique synthesis chemistry makes it possible to vary the substrate density of reaction sites to create a gradient across the array. This array can generate the same amount of data equivalent to that of 40 conventional microtiter plates. This form of miniaturized multiplex parallel protein antibody assays saves sample, reagents, labor, and time in generating binding efficiency affinity reaction curves with a single experiment, allowing cross-comparison comparis of the system's assay. The use of comparisons provides a more comprehensive picture and a more reliable results. With this system, you can generate information about specific probe sequences, and sequences can be defined to each single amino acid residue, and the interpretation of the assay results are taken directly from digital readout, digital image readout of an addressable microarray. You can achieve reliable and quantifiable results through the high through the highly stringent design and use of negative and positive control references. False positive readings are minimized. There are several strategies that can be employed for ident identifying binding epitopes. Peptide scans or tiling arrays. These are protein sequence derived scans of overlapping peptides used to locate and identify an antibody epitopes. Truncation libraries. In this case, amino acids from the termini of a peptide previously identified by a peptide scan or sequencing are systematically omitted to identify the minimal length required for antibody binding. A third strategy is the use of residue scans, for example, alanine scanning. This is complete substitutional analysis of amino acid residues and is used to identify the key residues important for antibody binding. Here you can see the parameters of a typical epitope mapping experiment. The peptides are bound to the array via a linker, and the synthesis of each peptide occurs from C to N terminus. Here you see the result of an example ep epitope mapping experiment where truncation scans were used to identify an epitope binding core. Please see our website at the addresses listed here for more specific application examples and sample data sets. LC Sciences is dedicated to helping you design meaningful experiments, providing reliable services, and delivering the high-quality results needed to keep your research moving toward discoveries. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you need help with your experimental design, have special data analysis requests, or have any questions about any of our services. Thank you.